Hi, this is Yusuf with APS Customer Service, and today we're going to talk about jack lines and how to attach them. So, at the most basic level, a jack line is something that's going to keep you on the boat. Now, this is the APS version, which is made out of Dyneema wrapped up in tubular webbing. And this is designed to run both fore and aft and sometimes across a transom or side to side. And what it, you do is you clip to it with a tether. So this is for anybody who's going to go offshore, anybody who's going to go sailing from sundown to sunup, and anybody who wants to keep their crew on board. You just All right, so now we're going to look at attaching your jack line to the bow of the boat. You may have a pad eye. You may want to use your bow cleat. It doesn't matter, really. Uh, we're going to use a bow cleat here. Uh, you can tell our loops here are pretty small and our bow cleat is pretty small, so this is just kind of a scale demonstration. And this is going to be attached by luggage tagging. So we're going to go ahead and pass the fore eye of the jack line through the cleat, and we're going to run the other end through this loop. Now, we're doing this simply because the cleat is too big for this loop <laughs> and uh, minor miscalculation. But you can see here, it actually comes out to the same kind of knot. It's a luggage tag either way, and this is how you're going to attach the bow. So now we're going to attach the aft end of the jack line. Now it's important to remember that this pad eye that you mount for your jack line is at least one tether length away from the transom of the boat. And that's so that if you were to go over, uh, you're not going to get dragged behind the boat. And some people say in front of the primary winch, one tether length is also fine. So we're going to take our lashing line and we're going to tie a bowline here at the pad eye. Um, do that right there. And what we're going to do is we're going to do about four passes through the aft eye here. So we got one, two, three, and four. Now you can see here I'm getting it nice and tight. And then what you're going to do is you're going to lash it around this way. And you're going to run half hitches once you get through. And you'll actually do this as many times as you like, uh, just so that it's not going to go anywhere. But you can see here, it's nice and tight. It's run up about four times, and it's got several passes around with half hitches to keep it sturdy. All right, as you can see, these take almost no time to put on, which means that they also take almost no time to take off. So, we recommend that you take them off when they're not in use to help prolong the life. Like any piece of safety equipment, we recommend that you give these regular inspection. You can get more information about these at APSLTD.com.